Hi, Corrine here. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would share with you my favorite A2 sized card. And here are all the measurements. It's just a lot of very easy matting. So if you wanted to pause the screen and take a, a picture or a screenshot of this, this will be all the measurements. So let me show you how this works. Here's the base of the card. It's gonna end up being an A2 sized card. I'm using the Felicity Jane Bragan collection for this demonstration. I have a couple other cards to show you here at the end as well. This one is eight and a half by five and a half. We're gonna score it down the middle at four and a quarter and that's gonna give us an A2 sized card. The first mat is going to be four by five and a quarter. It's going to lay on the front of the card here. The second mat is going to be the same pattern paper as your card base, and that is three and three quarters by five. I'm gonna lay that on top. The third mat is just gonna be a piece of white cardstock, three and a half by four and three quarters tall. It's gonna layer here. The third mat is gonna be a pattern paper that matches the collection. This is my favorite pattern paper from the Felicity Jane collection. This one is three and a half by two and a half, and it's going to layer right at the bottom of this white piece of cardstock. And then for the inside of the card, I am using a uh, piece of pattern paper that matches the front of my card and the matting as well. This one is four by five and a quarter. And being that you are using a pattern paper, you want to use a white piece of cardstock to go over it. That way you can write your sentiment on it. This white cardstock will be three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I also have some optional pieces that are gonna go as decorative on the front. I cut out both white and gray because I wasn't sure yet which one I wanna use. And these, the length really doesn't matter because we're gonna cut it off at the end, but I made them about a quarter inch wide. And um, I'll show you here. And again, I have several examples of uh, other cards that I made using the same um, matting system. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and score my cardstock. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Fold that over and then use my bone folder to make sure that I am reinforcing that score mark. Give it a good crease. And now I'm simply going to map my layers. My first layer is that white layer. I'm using some ATG tape. You can also use wet glue if you're more comfortable with that. It does give you a minute longer to kind of make sure it's centered before it, it is adhered down. Now my second mat is going to be the pattern paper. The next mat is gonna have the pattern paper on the bottom of it, like I mentioned. Um, but I'm going to wait and adhere down my stripes of paper first. Like I had mentioned, I'm going to go with the gray stripes using some wet adhesive and just adding it across. I just cut out several um, knowing that I probably had a few extra, but I wasn't sure how much spacing I wanted to give them. And as you can see, I'm going to give them quite a bit of spacing. I'm also working on a non-stick mat, so I'm not worried about getting the glue on the bottom. So I'm just eyeballing it. Now I'm gonna go back the other way and adhere those down. When I'm done, I will cut the excess off. You can use stripes of paper like this or strips of paper like this rather, or you can use die cuts. In my other example, I used a die cut or you could just leave the pattern paper by itself. So I cleaned up my mat and now I'm going to cut off the excess. And again, that's gonna go at the bottom of the paper. I also have this beautiful die cut from the Reagan collection, this little floral die cut. I'll be adding that at the top of the, the white piece of paper. So I adhered down that pattern piece and now I wanna go ahead and, and adhere my ribbon. I'm tying off a, the left section of it with some crochet twine and that's because I want it to gather right there. So when I add the bow to the center, I wanna make it look like it's gathered and not just straight across. So I will adhere that down with a little bit of ATG and then also some scotch tape to reinforce it. And I like to do the crochet twine first so it doesn't bend my paper. So here's a little bit of scotch tape. And now I'm just gonna tie my bow. You could do it all in one, um, one uh, 
tie if you want wrap it around the back of that piece but I like to do it separate and then I just kind of mess with my bow to get it where I want and then once I'm happy with that I'm gonna set that aside because I need to stamp my sentiment so here's a piece of matching cardstock I'm gonna use my Simon Says stamp transparency paper to make sure my sentiment is straight and then I'm using some Hero Arts charcoal I stamped that twice and then this is for the inside of my card I stamped that twice as well to get a good impression so I'll set that aside I used my misty stamping tool for that now I want to cut my sentiment down into just a little strip says this card is full of and then when you open it up it'll say thanks I'm going to use some wet glue and adhere my little flower cluster down and now I can adhere this to the front of my card I decided to take a little excess off that and now I'll adhere that directly onto those flowers Using some hot glue, I'm going to just add that right to the center where it gathers and then trim off the excess. I had originally thought I might stamp directly over those flowers, so that's why I didn't want to adhere my bow down just yet. I wanted to do the stamping first. And now I'm matting the inside of my card, centering that and adhering that down. And now I'm going to add some flat back pearls. Every um, spot where it meets so I'll fast forward through that so you don't have to watch that but I'm just using that same wet glue adhering those down and here's an up-close look of the card super pretty it looks like it just has lots of layers and here are the three cards that I did the one on the right here I used Echo Park's Wedding Bliss and as you can see I didn't add anything on top of the pattern paper I added a flower cluster there with Just Married and this is from the digital collection so I printed out a bow and a stripe right there with the same pattern paper added handmade with love to the back of it and wishing you the best all the best to the inside of the card this here the same thing I'm using American Crafts Pebbles Heart of Home collection I added a little cluster and for you same with the bow I used a quarter foil um, die cut that I had to add to the front of that and added the pearls to the center really pretty and then I added a silver sparkle gem to the center of my bow inside says happy happy birthday and then also I added the handmade with love to the back so you can use either paper bows or actual ribbon whichever you prefer and just to finish these off I'm going to make some handmade envelopes that match thanks so much for stopping by if you have any questions please leave me a comment and find me on Facebook and Instagram all under Corrine's creations have a great day